So because I love building unnecessary things like last episode's biome hall and this whole transformed cave, I'm going to need some help getting materials. For example, this gold farm that took me like four hours to build is going to give me all the gold I need for anything I decide to create. I'm going to build a lot of these, starting from the small and easy ones, working our way up to some really complicated ones. First of all, we've got the gold farm. Now I'm going to build a carrot farm. I'm gonna do it here under my potato farm and it's gonna be exactly the same. Built these so many times that I just kind of know them off by heart. I, that's, that's a bad, that's not a good thing. I can't believe you've done this. And now I have both of the farms I need to craft as many of these as I want. How about that? Oh, some of them are for, some of them are, Okay, let me just uh, pick these up. Where are they? Here they are. Next, let's build an automatic chicken farm. If I could find any, that would be splendid. Okay, here, we've got two chickens about 10 years away from base and nighttime's coming as well. So that's, yeah, that's great. No! I don't even need this farm, you know? <laughs> Yep, let's go up this nice little catwalk. Uh, more like a chicken walk. That's stupid. There was originally a chicken in this cave, so please tell me it's still here. Yes! There's a chicken! There's a chicken. Okay, come on. There we go, finally. The chicken farm is complete. I don't really need anything from there, but... Yep. And next with uh, mostly just these materials here, we are going to build a classic mob grinder. Build up a little platform in the sky that is hopefully far enough away from that. I think it would be. And let's begin. And again. And again. And again. Now I forget how many blocks water travels. I think it's eight. Let me see if I've done this correctly. Should stop right there. Yes, perfect. Ah, I love invisible blocks. They're my favorite. Now on the inside, I have to place heaps of trap doors because mobs think that these are blocks. And done. Oh my. And there we go, we've got the mob farm sorted as well. Now we do need a leather farm, but I'm going to have a way better design than what we have going on right now. So, see you later. I'm gonna use a different building block for once. I'm gonna make some terracotta. Stone brick has kind of been my go-to, so we'll keep that going as well. And my last bucket of lava will go to this as well. But that's okay because we're making a lava farm later on. And I just need a little bit of warped fungus. I think I need like four. I, I got five. That cannot run. And I needed five warped fung. Oh. And there we are. I know the primary thing will be pork chops here, but I mainly want leather for things like item frames and whatnot. I'm gonna AFK for about maybe 10 minutes. But I don't know if you noticed, in this farm, we used some lava, which reminds me, I don't wanna have to come into the nether to get lava every single time I need lava. How many times have I said lava already? So I'm gonna build a lava farm and I am really quickly running out of redstone. Good thing that's on the list. Add a piston that's gonna push the cauldrons. We put an observer down that we will then power, which then uh, you, this detects that and then that pushes that and then it just keeps going. We just do that all the way around. Now we just need to add a ring around the outside where the lava is gonna sit and done. Cauldron has already started filling up. Oh, multiple cauldrons. Now we just need to do a little bit of redstone. Uh, so how do I stop this? After about 20 minutes, we have this much here, which isn't actually too bad. Okay, so what's next on the... L it's a watermelon farm. Now, I don't want watermelons or mud or cactus or honey. I don't even want some of the difficult ones like a guardian farm, but I'm still going to attempt to make it because that's what I... 
titled this video. So I think I'm gonna get through these ones pretty qu Wow, we don't have any redstone. Whoa! And just like that, now we have plenty of redstone. So we're gonna be doing both pumpkin and melon in this one, so we can just tick both of those items off. Okay, where do I want this? In here, maybe? Dig a quick hole, make it two blocks deep. And now all these powered rails... Nope, that's... Okay. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, I'm doing this wrong. I don't... <laughs> what? And there we go, stuff is already coming in. Once all these crops are fully grown, then it'll actually be quite a lot faster. This next one, I'm brushing over at the speed of light because it's a mud generator. If we ever need mud bricks for whatever reason, this will come in handy. Now for the cactus farm, I've never built one of these. However, this one I'm gonna freestyle because how hard can it be? If these are the only materials I need, surely it'll be super easy. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, now I'm assuming the rates here are gonna be horrible, but let me just AFK and after about 30 minutes. <laughs> oh. There we go. There's the other one done as well. Our rates should now hopefully be better. We'll come and check this towards the end of the episode. So the next one is actually a bee slash honey farm. And after collecting some materials, including lots of glass bottles that took me ages to get. I am now in a forest looking for beehives. Okay, so it's coming to nighttime. That means they all kind of go back into their little beehives and you just grab it. All right, we got 10. Let's begin this build. Put all the bee nests away for a sec. Oh, the bee nests. I've been calling them bee. I'm gonna look like such an idiot. We've got a chest, hopper on top, flowering azalea goes here. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Bang! Do some little comparator contraption thing. Do that all the way down. No! That's not what I wanted! Oh, God! I can see you float. Don't float away, please. This isn't a chicken walk anymore, it's a bee walk. All right, I'm fairly certain that looks like nighttime to me, so... Boom. And with that, the bee farm is complete. Now, it's time to move on to the bigger farms. Firstly, I'm going to be making one of the new 1.19 slime farms. They require barely anything else other than lots of blocks and lots of brown mushrooms, which I'm going to run around and collect because who wants to build a mushroom farm? Ah, Axel, my friend. Why don't I just go all the way to our trusty mushroom island that I found last episode? Look at how many there is around here. Look at all this. What? I'm gonna be absolutely rich in brown mushrooms. Now that I think about it, I should just make a nether portal. Oh, I don't have any pumpkins. Good thing I have a farm for that. Oh boy, this is gonna fill up a little too quickly, I think. So I'm gonna go to my local swamp biome, place a hopper on top, quick redstone clock, pretend like I know what I'm doing, totally not following a uh, tutorial or anything. Well, this is a nice view of a sunrise over a beautiful swamp. And let's destroy this scaffolding right here. I've done that a few times in the video now and I'm not really sure if I'm ever gonna realize that it's probably not funny. Let's then do a quick AFK test. That is amazing. I'll be able to build just about anything I want to with the farms I'm accumulating here. Okay, so I have a little bit of a problem. This honey farm is soon going to rapidly start running out of bottles. And what better way is there to fix this problem than to build a witch farm? So I've got all the materials I need for the farm right here. And last episode, when I was looking for blocks for certain biomes, if I fly right through this crazy looking ice mountain, there should be a swamp here somewhere. Here, is this it? With a witch hut? There it is. All right. This one actually isn't very interesting to build at all. So, uh... Never mind, I was actually missing lots of minecarts and sticky pistons. <laughs> Why are you all the way up here? Are you following me? Okay, I need to, get, I need to stop getting distracted. 
So, that took a lot longer than expected. I had to spawn proof this whole mountain because the position of this witch hut is fairly terrible. This is a little bit over an hour of AFKing and we have... <laughs> See if we can get lucky and get a wither skull. Okay, let me sort out this absolute mess. Now I need to collect materials for the guardian farm. Never mind, I need like two stacks of obsidian, which we all know is like one of the funnest blocks to collect in this game. <laughs> And we're going to build it at this monument here. It should be somewhere right there. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with any of these farms. Mainly this one here. Whoa, there's a lot of them. This should be the chunk water right here. Place another one, two, three. Now we build a little scaffolding platform in the corner here. Okay, phantoms. That's the wrong way. Okay, okay. So we got a platform here. I'm pretty sure the guardians spawn underneath this and they get pushed up into this and like there's some portals here and stuff. All right, I'm gonna bridge across so quickly. Ready? I think that should be it for this top area here. Now we actually just need to go and activate every one of these. Oh my goodness, my frames are dropping. I mean, I can see why, I think. I'm playing a slideshow. All right, let's test it out. So if we ignore the Guardians for a second, we can see that this actually gives us a really good amount of drops. I mean, I've been here for just over a few minutes and this is, this is pretty crazy. Yep, okay, uh, now we have as many sea lanterns as we want, which I will actually need for an upcoming project in the next episode. So the next farm is actually a blaze farm, which of course I need lots and lots of glass for again. I'm fairly confident this farm is so easy to build that I can just explain every step and we will be done very shortly. We try our best to light it up right there and then we dig, I think, seven blocks. And we go six blocks out in each direction. Two, three, four, five, six. Yo, no, not- it, just go away. Just stop spawning for like a little bit and then we can talk, all right? So this is the little square where they're gonna get farmed. They're gonna get taken in here by multiple lava buckets. Dude. Oh my goodness. All right, I am now stuck in a box with these guys. And you're all gonna- They somehow all despawned, I'm not- Yeah, I don't know. Pop a bucket of lava in every corner. Boom, we pop some of these there. These here. Break this, I think. No, nope, let me- let me break the damn- Guys, let's AFK for the usual, like, 15 minutes. And after that, we have- and now we can just put this in here. This will get loaded up. And we have a really, really good fuel source right now. Speaking of fuel sources, we need another one, which is coal. So we are building a wither skeleton farm. All right, I've got mostly everything sorted, apart from the fact that I need more of these. And I also need some turtle eggs. So let's go hunt some turtles. How to find turtles in Minecraft. I'm going insane, you know. We've been at this... For days. If only there was some way to energize myself. Oh, what's that? G Fuel code easy? Well, let me tell you. Now, oh, quick while they're not looking. Now, the thing about this farm is you need to find a nether fortress that is either in a soul sand valley, or since there isn't one in our case, we find one in a warped forest. Because almost no mobs spawn here apart from the odd endermen. Oh, I. And this is kind of how it works. They go through that portal all the way down there. They go into the overworld and then there's so many of them that they push each other through this portal. They come here and then this is where we just go bang. And after the classic 10 minute AFK session, now trademarked, we have all of this. Wow. Oh, okay guys, come on. Don't block my- Do you have, you have a fire aspect sword? What is that about? Oh my goodness. Woo, that could have gotten bad. Okay, it is the home stretch. I have a farm for just about every single item I want, but there's a few more to go. Luckily for me, now I have a wither skeleton farm, which I do need. I also need pumpkins, but hey, look at that. I have a whole set of pumpkins. <laughs> look at that blazing speed. Now what we're making is a wither rose farm. Number one, because I don't want a squid farm for black dye. And number two, 
Um, and voila. Now I just need to generate snowmen. They get turned into wither roses and snow. I recycle the blocks. And after doing that just a few times, I have three stacks of black dye. This is just too good. I get a free beacon out of it as well. Like, come on. Now this next farm right here, I actually wasn't planning to build. But when I was looking for string earlier in the episode, if I fly just about five seconds over here into this cave, we have not one, not two, but three spider spawners. So, triple spider farm. Let's get to work. Oh, I should just go get a beacon. So right here where this wood is, is our AFK spot. This is where all three of them are perfectly active. Now we just need to make rooms for all three of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Connect up all the sides. There we go. One room done. This is the second room. I don't even know where I am anymore. That's... Not the way. We've got two done now, and last one over here. All right, so one spawner on this side and two on this one. So I think this is the way the spiders are going to flow. There's obviously no tutorial for this. I'm just going to try and freestyle it, so wish me luck. <laughs> Water there. So now we get rid of these blocks. Oh, okay, never mind, because this sucks. I'm going to flow down into here, and now what? Oh no, I've messed it up. Ah! So then if I place a bucket here and here, so let's say I'm a spider, I'm getting pushed here. I get up on the fences and then that's when this water starts taking me that way. Okay, perfect. We're good. Now, how do I get out of here? This is claustrophobic. You know what? I think I want to do a quick tester. So I'm just going to block that off. Now we just wait a little bit and see if they come down. Nice. Okay, we've got two. We've got three. We've got four. Okay. It seems to be working so far. I've done one. Now I feel like I can conquer the world. I know what I'm doing here. Wow, this is crazy. I'm gonna pick up my stuff and this farm is done. If I ever need string, I have, I think, more than enough. That was crazy. Now, what is one farm that you always need for pretty much every project you're ever working on? The answer is a wood farm. And the reason I've waited this long to build it is because, well, I need honey blocks. I need slime blocks. I need lots of redstone, lots of bone meal. You get the picture. So... <laughs> okay. Oh, you thought I was joking at the start of the video? No, I actually built this with gold from the gold farm. AFKing for day.